Hello everyone and welcome to Melbury Estate, the map which has been so requested. It's just incredible how many people want me to play this map. So here it is, Melbury Estate by Tom X 55 So first we better read the brief, it says welcome to Melbury Estate, you have bought this estate and it has been handed over halfway through harvest so you must bring in the planted crops to bring in an income. This map has pig, beef, fattening and compost mod. Your produce is sold at the local pub and there is a local BGA plant where you can turn silage into manure for your fields, collect water at the river and use the compost plant for nutrients. Feed your animals with the right foods to increase their productivity and keep your ground topped up with nutrients to get the largest yield. Enjoy your stay at Melbury Estate and then all the thanks to everyone who has been involved with the making of this map but I believe the primary person is Tomex55, who is actually the same person who made the amazing Woodside Farm, which I'm still requested to do more videos on, so I don't know, maybe in the future. But first of all, we need to get cracking with Melbury Estate. Now this is where we start off, this is the yard, but we don't want to be here. We actually need to be up at the, uh, the shop, first of all, because I've got a tractor and a header, which needs to be taken to another one of the yards. So one second, and here we are over at the top of the map. This is where you buy your vehicles. It's also where you sell your wool. Buy your tree saplings, I believe. Looks like it is. Yep, you buy your tree saplings. Uh, looks like some lettuces and tomatoes in the greenhouses here. And trees. <laughs> I guess it's trees growing or something. Uh, for the timber. This must be where you sell your chippings. Yep, in there. And another wool cell point. But yes, we're up here because we've got a new Holland T8 with a case combine header. We also have these two attachments for the new Holland forage harvester. We'll leave them here for now, but we do have these for when we need them. Now, I'm going to run through all the machinery which we've started off with. It's not the original machinery which you'd start off with if you downloaded this map and played it today. I've actually edited it. So that you don't, so that we actually start off with some bigger equipment. Um, I've also edited the starting amount of money as well. I started at fifty thousand rather than six, um, and we're playing on normal difficulty. So um, hopefully we'll be able to progress much quicker than we did do on Iron Horse Farm. Uh, I don't know if I'll ever play on hard again for a let's play because, to be honest, it is quite difficult. It really is. So. I need to be steady with this, we'll probably uh, just set the speed a bit lower and uh, we'll head down to, or should I say across to, the yard at the northern point of the map. Now I'm playing this blind, I have never played on Melbourne Estate before, I've only seen screenshots and um, I don't know where anything is, obviously I can see where the fields are on the mini map and I can see where a few things are but as for what the map really looks like, I have no idea yet, so, yep, all new to me. I'm sure you'll point out stuff which I've missed, or stuff which maybe I've got wrong, <laughs> like I've said something is something which isn't, uh, but you'll pick me up on that, I'm sure. I usually get plenty of comments uh, telling me that I either missed something, or I, uh, I did something wrong. It's a daily occurrence for me. But basically, we're going over there to those barns over there because we've got to drop this header off where we've got a case combine but I'll show you that in a minute or two this map was actually released quite a while ago Not it's not old, definitely not old because it was in the mod contest but um, I guess I could have been quicker at playing it it's because I was caught up with the other few maps I probably should have a quicker turnover and looking at all these maps because there's so many about and I feel like I'm missing out on some of them which is a bit of a shame but just here is <laughs> and this is where you can tell me when I'm wrong let's have a look what this could be um, I don't know we'll have to go in there and have a look but this is a nice addition because I don't think Woodside from what I remember had traffic it's always nice to have traffic how do you even get in there? If I missed the turning, I reckon I have. Well, we'll go back there in a minute. As you can see though, for people who haven't actually played on this map before, or maybe you can't run it on your PC or laptop, 
Um, this is what it looks like. Very, very nice, of course. I say this to all the maps I do because I wouldn't play the map if I knew it was bad. Um, I love the backdrop, the British scenery. It does look very realistic. It's definitely better than just like a hill or a mountain in the background. Uh, makes a huge difference to the realism. And it's nice to see as well that there are some big fields and also some small fields as well. So, uh, can we get this around here? Yep. It is a good trailer, this. This header trailer is very good at following you. Unlike some. Uh, I don't know if I could say the same for this corner, though. Wow, it did. Yeah, very good. I've got to get it out of here, though. I didn't think of that. I guess we could spin around in here. Well, I'll put it here for now, just next to the yard, because we'll pick it up again when we have to do some harvesting. But the primary uh, reason for this video is really just to look around the farm and see what the map has to offer. I guess I could say that it is aimed mainly at people who haven't played the map before, but I'm sure a lot of you will still be interested to see. Maybe even I discover something which you haven't seen, but that's fairly unlikely. So yes, here we are at this yard. I don't know if the yards have names or if it is just like another yard within the estate. I'm not sure. Uh, but I do like, uh, well a lot of maps seem to be doing this at the moment, but it's the lizards from uh, FS11 and 09 where they've been, well they've had like the wheel taken off and they're just sort of in a poor state and they need a, a bit of a workshop looking at really. I'm not sure where this came from, it kind of looks like the one off, um, what do you call it? Stalker, yeah, there we go. Just about remembered it. Yeah, the uh, Chernobyl game. It does remind me of that one, if it isn't that one. It's uh, very similar. Uh, but I've seen that in many maps. But yeah, I do like that, and I like the layout of the yard. I like it's tight, but you can still get big machinery through. Because there's nothing worse than a map which is so tight that you can't even turn around in it. I mean, this one is good because you can do like a loop. You can go around there and come back through here. Looks like you have to muck the cows out as well. I have to do a bit of that. And uh, when someone actually commented on my video from yesterday, the Chellington video, they said it would be nice to see some animal work. And I've totally overlooked them. I can't believe that I haven't even thought to do any animal work. I've just been doing all the arable. So this map is going to be both, obviously, but um, try and do a bit more livestock on here. Now I reckon if I was to go right out of here, you get to the end of the map. It looks like you will. So I'm going to go left. Just so we don't see any borders of the map. So, I think for this stretch it's mainly just fields. But we do need to go and see what that thing was. I don't know if it's like a, a manure processing plant. or could have been compost. Probably more likely the compost actually. I've not used the compost mod before, so that would be something new. Can't wait to use that. So yeah, I think it's down here. Or do you get into a field? Yeah, that... Oh, here we go. I think it is the compost, but can't say for sure. Let's jump out. Yep, yeah, that definitely looks like PT compost. I don't know how any of this works. I don't know if you just scoop it up or something. I don't know. Oh, don't jump in there. Do you put your logs in there or something? And you produce compost? I don't know. It's obviously compost. It says there. Ooh. Nutritious. Or do you back up to here? with something. I don't know how you apply it to the field, so any help will be greatly appreciated. Can't climb the ladder. Uh, but yeah, that is the compost. I'm now stuck. We'll continue our journey around the map. You can even see the engine running on there. Look at that. The generator. Nice controls. Okay, let's go. 
It's only so long you can stay at a compost processing plant. So we want to be turning left out of here. I probably will miss something because it is such a big map with lots of detail. And there's a road going off here. So we'll go down here and then we'll probably come back if it's not a loop. If it is a loop, obviously we'll make our way back anyway. But we've got lots of fields. We own field number five. That's one of the fields which needs to be harvested. Because apparently we took the estate over during harvest. So that needs to be done. Good job we brought a new combine. I wouldn't really fancy doing it with that small new Holland. Lots of tracks to go to the other fields, but we don't own those. It looks like a new texture for the maze. Just stop. Yep. Unless it's sort of on the last growth stage. It looks like a new texture though. That's a good view. Look at that view. That is brilliant. And the, the fascinating thing about it is the actual map stops fairly low. That is all a backdrop. But you can't really see the transition, which is really good. Love that. That is brilliant. That really is good. So we've got the barbed wire. Oh, we've crashed. I know a few of you don't really like the videos where I just do a tour of the map, but I have to do it really to see myself um, where I'm going. I, don't, I have no idea, so I have to do a tour. And instead of me just doing it in silence on my own, I might as well do a video for those of you who haven't seen the map before. Ooh, what do we have here? What could this be? Let's have a look. Uh, looks like the anaerobic digesters for the silage. Is this the silage yard then? It looks like it probably is. With lots of storage for your machinery. In fact, we should probably bring our new Holland Forager to here, along with the trailers. We do need a, a silaging trailer though. Remind me to show you everything we've got at the end, otherwise I'm going to forget. Right, so let's continue. Yeah, all the tyres were stacked up there for putting over the clamp. Looks like we are going in a bit of a loop here. We are, so we should come across the pigs very soon. Got some undergrowth. Ooh, Ooh that's a muddy patch. It's like wasteland. It's a bog. A nice border to a map though. Okay, so here we are. These should be the pigs up here on the right. Somewhere here. In here. Oh, and the cattle as well. Pig and cattle. So this is our, our cattle and pig mod. Uh, I don't know if this is the auction. Oh yeah, I think it is, because it shows the... Uh, the yellow symbol on the map. This must be where we bring them to sell. Well that's nice, that is good. I wonder if I'll have any uh, luck trying to turn in here with the cattle trailer. I'll have to do that at some point. That is a big drop. I do not want to be going down there. So far though, very impressed. But I knew it would be, because I knew the woodside one was good. And the screenshots just showed it off anyway. So it looks like a village on the left here. We probably won't really have anything to do with that. You could probably make your way around the tight streets in there. But we won't do it today with the tractor. Yeah, it's a road going, running through there. Ah, oh, now this one's already been harvested. That does fit in with the theme of joining halfway through harvest. That one's been done. But that must be a neighbouring farm or something because we don't own that field. We'll just stop a second and take in the atmosphere. 
does look really good. Yep. It's a good map. I think if I say it's a good map too much, it's going to start to get annoying. I just can't help myself. It kind of reminds me of Challenge, actually. Now over there, I think was our starting point, which is where I teleported away from. So we'll have to head back there. Looks like we're joining the road. Cattle grid. So there must be livestock here, yep. Yeah, this is definitely where we started off. So that's where we get our fertilizer, our seed, some small equipment, which we'll probably need for the smaller fields. Again, it's a perfect map for different sized machinery. You can use the big machinery and the small machinery. And there is a bow shredder which leads into, or past the bow shredder leads into another field. I think it's a grass field. Yeah. But I don't think it's one which we would be cutting because it's got a trough in it and a milker I believe so this must be the cow's field we don't really want to be cutting it for them I don't think I think they just munch away and it cuts itself what a, a wrecked old bus and a generator and is it a lorry cab I'm not sure don't know. And there's another lizard in the undergrowth. If you saw it, <laughs> you can just see its exhaust stack sticking out there. Okay, so let me get my bearings. Where are we now? Oh, we're heading back on the road where we were before. So, ah, we probably should turn right out of there. Yeah, we're going to turn right. I'm going to turn around. I need to find a turning. Right, heading back down the opposite direction now, we should be able to get right to the bottom of the map on this road. It seems to run from north to south, if that is the way the uh, place is facing, I'm not sure. I'm just assuming that the top is the north and the bottom is the south. I think we'll probably just say it is for simplicity's sake. Is that water on the map? It's like turquoise. I don't know. We should see it in a minute. I guess if we go in here... Uh, Waybridge and... Oh, this must be our grain stores. I don't know what the blue is on the map. I'm probably missing something here. Uh, yeah. Well, we'll try and find out what it is. There's a trailer, with a tractor, and there's another trailer around the side there. They're, I think, the only two trailers that we do own. Nice muddy entrance to the field there. Must have been a wet summer. Or maybe it's just rained heavily. Uh, and that is the end of the line. So, how do we make our way over to that green, turquoisey area? I might just have to run over there. I'm sure there'll be a road, because, or a track, because there's a field there. Think, oh yeah, on the minimap there seems to be a lane on the left here. Here we go. So let's discover it. What could it be? It's probably nothing, I don't know. Oh, this is going to the uh, woodland. Hmm. I'll have to run over there. Well, we're here. I think it must just mean that it is the animal space. This is where the animals live. Um, it's, I think, just marking out which is their fields, as it has a trough in it. And there is one at the other farm we went to. So, 
Correct me if I'm wrong, but I think that is what this field, or the turquoise on the field, is. So we're going to have a look at the woodland, and then we'll head back north and go over to the eastern side. We'll definitely have to do some forestry here when I get the Satex steering wheel, which is not long now. It's this month. Can't wait for it. It's going to make forestry so much better. The forest have to fiddle around with the mouse. Clickety-clicky. And you kept hearing my mouse clicks, and it was just, oh, not realistic. So I can't wait to be able to use that joystick and actually do it properly. Should be absolutely amazing. And there is lots of space here as well for the lorry and stuff. We'll have to use a lorry. Take it all away on. But I don't think we'll do any forestry before then. Now in a minute, there should be a turning on the right. I want to head down there, and it should split, and it should go in two different directions, looking at the minimap. And that way I want to be able to see where we can actually head to. Obviously, I'm not going to be able to show you every single field, uh, but I'll try and show you all the key things. Is there a track? Or is it just a hedgerow? It could be a hedgerow. Okay. I'll tell you what we'll do then. We will turn right here again. This is the compost. And there was a, a lane. If you go up here, there's a lane on the right, and we can do the same thing there. Here we are. Another thing I like is all the weeds at the side of the road and the long grass, instead of just the same grass which you can cut. So more fields, and this should take us to everything on the eastern side. Yep, so I think it is mainly just fields and another woodland looking at it, I think. So this is now the time where you can tell me what I've missed, because I'm bound to have missed something. Um, more fields there. And yeah, I'll try and cover it in the next video. And that looks to be the end of the line. So, yes, let's have a look at what machinery we actually start off with. Now, I must remind you that this isn't the machinery which you get if you download the map and play it now. This is the edited um, machinery which we're going to play with. It's actually very similar. I've only added a few things and sold the old combine, but overall, um, yes, it is very similar. So. We've got the Agro Star, the T4, the uh, Steyr Multi 4115, the T8, the Stahl Front Loader, the Axial Flow 7130 with a 35 foot header and a header trailer, uh, two of the Agro Liners, one small cultivator, one small plough, one small um, Pottinger drill, the Pottinger Nova Cat, the Forage Wagon, the bale shredder, the tedder and the windrower, the two smallest, uh, one weight, we've got a forestry trailer for picking up the logs but we probably won't use that one but I'll leave it there for now, uh, the mobile water tank, these are bought, these you don't start off with, um, the new holland, it's obviously the DLC, uh, forage harvester and the three attachments for it. So that's what we start off with. And we'll be starting off doing something. We'll probably do a bit of whole crop actually. I haven't really done much whole crop recently. So that is probably a good thing to do rather than the combine harvesting. Uh, but yes, until next time, thanks for watching. And bye for now.